Hello everyone, this is Dire Weasel DM with Quick Foundry Tips. We're going to go over how to buff and debuff characters. Here you can see I have my bandit. In order to buff him, I'm going to go into my items and create a new item. And we're going to go to feature and call it buff. Create new item. Here we're going to say extra attack. And we're going to go to effects, add temporary effects. This is going to extra attack. And we're going to change this to the wing icon. And then we're going to go to duration, change it to 10 rounds. And finally, we're going to add in a piece here. I highly recommend installing DAE as it will help this considerably. If you know exactly the attributes, you'll all be all right. In this case, I'm going to type in attacks, go to my all attacks. You'll see bonuses, all attacks. This is, found, this is DAE helping me here. Foundry basics, just you have to type it in directly. We're going to add plus one D4. Our duration is good, our icon is what we want, and we'll click Submit. Finally, we'll change this to be a buff icon as well, and then we'll close. Now we have a buff here, right? So what we're going to do is just drag it onto the character. You'll see extra attack buff gets labeled there. Then we're going to click our scimitar and attack. Notice it's part of the formula now. And then if we go to effects and then toggle that effect and attack, it's now gone. And that is a quick and simple way of adding buffs in. Note that this can be dragged to any character that you want. If you want to add in another character inside of here, you can always add this buff directly onto that character as well. And then disable or delete it when you need it. If you want to do a debuff, same thing applies here. We're going to duplicate this and go into debuff. And then we're going to go to effects, change this, Debuff, attack, go to attacks. We're going to do a minus here instead. There we go. Now when we go inside of here, you'll see that this effect is now offline. If we add in our debuff attack, it applies. We go back to our rolling our scimitar. Now it has a minus inside of there. And just to double check our math, we have 17 plus 3 would be 20, minus 4 is 16. And once again, if we just hoggle it off, now when we roll, it's gone, everything's back to normal. This has been Dire Weasel DM. I hope you've enjoyed it.